from the thrift store and I thought I would tear it apart and show you how I do that. Some people might find that interesting, I don't know. This is uh, an old Pendleton coat, 100% wool, and it's seen better days. It's got some worn spots, the edges of cuffs and things are worn, but it's a good, uh, good coat for making rugs. Um, the good thing about it is there's no waist seam to make short pieces here. It would be better if it didn't have a seam down the back. Also it has seams down the sleeves, so that will be a little more waist there, but um, and it has slash pockets, which will be a little bit of waste around there, but uh, if it had on-seam pockets, that would be nicer. Um, and of course, it would be nicer if it was a 3X large or something like that, but we we'll take what we can get. Um, I've already torn the buttons off. It looks like they were sewn on a couple times with the different threads here. And starting another jar of big buttons. Someday I'll figure out what to do with them. This is probably the sixth jar of buttons I've got like that. This is my weapon of choice for ripping coats. And I start by taking the lining out. Get a few snips on this and tear it the rest of the way. Undo both sleeves. Sometimes there's something inside the sleeve holding it to the seam, but I don't feel anything in there. Let's see if they come out. Yep. Sleeves come out, so then I usually go down to the hem, undo the whatever holds the facing down here. Usually just a couple of stitches. And get this. Get the lining started ripping here. Sometimes there's something here. There's a few threads holding that to the seam. Looks like this was repaired here. Repair is tougher than the original stitching. Hmm. Somebody did a pretty good repair job. But this lining is really worn out. This coat was well used. And now it's getting a second life. Uh, there's some um, threads holding the armhole together there. Okay, anything else up there at the back? Here at the side? And at the hem. Okay, that's it for the lining. And then I get the uh, shoulder pads, get those out of here. These come out easy. Sometimes they're stitched the whole way around. of stuff up here. Sometimes it works better for me to go around to the back edge and snick the arm hole seam from the back, outside back. And then you need to be a little careful because you're tearing on a bias here with the one. 
edge, but I can usually tear the arms off like this. Now this seam is going to go all the way down the side figures. Oh yes, because it's double seamed here. Ah, oh, there we go. And I'll get the other arm off here. Okay, and then I'll I'll open up these arm the sleeves and tear those seams all open later on. And um, a lot of times I go for these facings. This one's not going to give me much of anything here on this side of the buttonhole. Sometimes they're pretty wide and you can still get a strip on that side, but not with this coat. And so I often just take the big scissors at this point and schwack off the neck because these little pieces up here aren't going to help me and they don't have enough to make it worth although this seam tears just as easily usually sometimes it's triple stitched or something that makes it impossible to rip the seam the neck uh, the collar seam out but Often you can do that too, it just depends. There's a lot of extra interfacing stuff in here. Get that out of my way. Here we go. Okay, we're done with that color. And these seams, once they get started, it goes pretty nicely. Oops, I didn't do the hem. Depends how much is down here. I like to undo the hem and save all that. And it's often stitched with a chain stitch. And if I want to take the time I'll try and figure out if I can undo the the chain I don't have any magical formula for this if you know of one please tell me uh, sometimes I just get lucky and pull the right thing and it comes other times I try a couple times on each side and maybe it starts at the other side so I'll go down to the other end and try it there. Get this facing off of here. Got lucky. Okay, so this thing is pointing toward the side where the chain came off. So maybe that will help someone. It's slanted toward the end where I could pull the chain. Now I think I can finish this center seam. There's some facing here. 
Okay, I'll do with the other half there. Oh, I still have this, whatever this is here. So let's tear the shoulder off and down the side. So I'll put that in the washer. I won't bother to tear this tape off down here. That I'll just cut when I make strips. And uh, here's the front piece. I often do just tear out these welt pockets or whatever you call them. And when I do, I wonder about the person who sewed them and if they would mind if I'm tearing apart their work. I usually sit down by the fire and Air coats apart. I find it sort of relaxing. Now there I didn't do so good. I just tore that fabric there a little bit trying to hurry for the video but if you can be a little careful you won't do that. stuff often just tear that off. Now all these button holes are not gonna give me decent long pieces. So I don't know maybe this last one I'll just cut from here. And I'm just gonna cut this off. Right in the end here. This will tear. Yep. Okay, well, I'll deal with that later. And then this just comes off before I put it in the wash machine. And that's about it. Now when I go to use this piece, after it's washed, I like to wash everything. And all these seams will be flat. It won't have that going on. I like to get the longest piece possible, so I'll actually start stripping. Uh, let's see here. Well, I made a bit of a tear there, so I would strip on up from there. 
up to the top. I'll just do it. And say I want, uh, well, I don't have a ruler here, about a two inch strip. And I would measure my two inches up here where it's with the grain. And now I can strip all the way down. Okay, so this is this is what I've done so far. Going up from the end of that pocket, so I'm going to get one complete strip as long as possible, and there'll just be a short one here somewhere in the middle. Now I'll go down to this end. Cut that same width down here. Strip it up. And I have a strip as long as possible with, with as little short strips as possible. Now I'll, now I'll have to measure from this end. Have a strip that stops here somewhere and measure from this end and have a strip that runs out here, but I'll still get another long one out of that section. So there you go, that's what I do when I'm ripping apart a coat. Mm -hmm.